Hey everyone, thanks a lot for checking in another one of my videos. Uh, this one's actually more of a slideshow. I didn't film this project when I did it. It was about a year and a half ago, but I do have some pictures that I'm going to run through. So this particular project is when I converted a corner unit uh, china cabinet into a chameleon enclosure. I did end up keeping my day gecko in it for a while and I eventually sold it off to someone to put chameleons in. Uh, but So this could be really used for any arboreal lizard species for the most part. So there's the picture of the unit itself. I got that for about $50 off of uh, the local classified. Someone was moving, they wanted to get rid of it, so I scooped it up. So it was a really nice unit, really nice shape. Uh, of course, there's glass on sort of the three sides and, and mirrors on the inside. So there's a shot of when I kind of set it in place. The first thing I did was pull out the two side panels of glass because I wanted to add some more ventilation. So I, my plan was to put screens in those two side panels. So I pulled those side panels out and then I removed the roof. So I took a sawzall and cut out the roof, just because of course another layer of ventilation there. And there's the picture of it completely removed. So it's not a perfect job. It is actually kind of tough to cut through that. Uh, it was kind of weird angles, but it ended up coming out fairly easily. And of course, with uh, arboreal species, for the most part, are going to be uh, humid animals or animals that need to be kept in uh, high humidity so I went around and I sealed up all of the all of the seams with silicone now luckily the two major walls were actually mirror so they, they weren't gonna have to we weren't gonna really have to deal with moisture damage there but of course you want to seal up any other cracks uh, within it so then I built a glass tray on the bottom so if you can kind of tell the bottom of this tray is one of the glass shelves that you'll see in the early picture so that's just a one of the glass shelves that were in the cabinet I used that as the bottom and then the actual edges of this tray were the two side panels of glass so I built a, a tray because this was going to be for live plants and of, of course I needed to have a tray or else when I opened the door everything was going to fall out so I used the scrap metal or scrap glass that I had from the cabinet itself and made that tray it worked really really well held water no problem. All right, so here's a nice shot of the screen. So uh, this is uh, just regular. You just get this easily at Home Depot. Just normal kind of uh, metal screen with uh, this. I don't even sure what you call it. The screen frame, I guess. Uh, I put that together myself. So just cu cut it and measured it, and then on this side, I, I made a little door. So I put two hinges and and. Uh, that way this could be a little hand door for me to open up on the side. That way I didn't always have to open up the major door. Depending on the animal you have in there, sometimes it's nice to have a smaller door. Uh, the other side was just one solid screen. And uh, you can kind of see the other screen in there in the left side of the photo. And then I took some just uh, foam and covered up the top of the tray. That, it was a little bit sharp. That way I, I didn't, uh, didn't have to worry about the animals getting injured on there. So you can easily see the silicone has sealed up everything uh, nice and tight so water wasn't getting in. And any of the exposed wood that was in the enclosure still, I did paint with a water-based polyurethane or a poly uh, acrylic just from uh, Winmax. Just a really light layer. I, I, I think it did help, uh, but really it was the bottom that needed to be protected the most. But I would still recommend a water-based acrylic. So coming into sort of the last steps, you can see that I did end up stapling a screen on the top. You can sort of see, I didn't take a great picture of it, uh, but the top does now have a screen, so I just stapled some of that steel screen on the top. And, uh, and I, then I also went to Staples and I bought really cheap, uh, a really cheap roll of cork. So that they sell it for building your own cork boards, I guess, but I just bought it and I used it for the back panel. So I didn't obviously want the mirrors to be showing because that didn't look good at all. So I just covered that with a, just a basic cork, and pork cork can really take a beating uh, in terms of humidity, and it's not going to rot or mold or anything. So as you can see, all said and done, uh, everything came together pretty well. So uh, I was able to throw some clay balls in the bottom with a screen, and then a layer of coconut husk or uh, coconut fiber. I think it was Eco Earth that I used for the bottom, and then planted it with some bamboo so as you can see this is sort of set up for a day gecko right now but like I said it was uh, used for chameleon later uh, and it, you know it, this uh, it worked out well and it, it particularly looks pretty nice I, I was really happy with the way it turned out it does really look like a piece of furniture and it kind of stands out and uh, the animals look great in it so and there's another shot when it was redone Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully this does give you some ideas of something that you can do in the future with, uh, with if you can find an old china cabinet kicking around on, on the local classifieds. I recommend buying anything that you can find cheap and then coming up with a way that you can use it for your animals. Alright, thanks a lot.